Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we're going to be working a problem from the breadth section of the Civil PE exam that covers elements from both structural engineering and geotech. So let's get started. A new flood wall is being proposed in a coastal environment with highly corrosive soils with high sulfur content. Each section of the flood wall consists of a 10 foot long panel, but the engineer has a choice of two different combinations of pile arrangements to support the panel. First arrangement consists of five piles, each with a 10 inch diameter, while the second choice consists of three piles, each with a 25 inch diameter. Which pile arrangement provides the best corrosion protection? Assume that in both cases, the piles consist of a steel pipe filled with concrete and rebar, each driven to a depth of 20 feet. So, we look at this problem, we can realize that this is actually a concept problem. And the concept that it's testing, that you'll see tested throughout the PE exam, is the concept of surface area. So, we have piles, and we know that they're gonna be cylindrical piles. How do we know that? Because we're given a diameter. So a diameter can only be a circle, and then we're given a depth of 20 feet because they're driven to a depth of 20 feet, right? So we're going to be doing something that looks like this. This is going to be at the bottom here. That'll be touching the bottom. And then the surface area is going to be this circle here. And then just this here, just the side. Circle, one side other side, right? Because this bottom piece is going to be on the bottom and won't be exposed to the water. So what we'll do is we'll calculate the surface area of each arrangement of piles and figure out which is the best arrangement. Now, let's also talk about another thing. Key to this problem is to recognize that a larger surface area is gonna provide greater corrosion protection because corrosion is gonna come, this is the water out here surrounding the pile. And so the highly corrosive materials in the water are gonna start eating away at the sides, right? At the sides. So what's eventually gonna happen is that this column will wither away. So the longer it takes, to eat away at the sides, the greater pro corrosion protection will be provided. So, to write that down, to keep us on track. Larger surface area equals greater protection. Now, what we'll do is we'll draw a picture for each case and calculate what that is. So we'll draw our flood panel, Case one, we know that's 10 feet. And we know it has five columns. Each is driven to a depth of 20 feet. 10 foot wall panel, we said that earlier, right? And then the diameter, each is 10 inches. So we'll calculate our surface area. Surface area is going to be equal to two pi r the circumference of the circle that we talked about earlier up here times the depth. Surface area equals two pi. Now, our diameter is 10 inches. The radius is half of the diameter. We know that. But what we need to do is keep consistent units. So we need to convert the inches to feet. So we know it's five inches is the radius divided by 12 inches in a foot times 20 feet. The surface area of one column calculates out, get that to be 52.359 feet squared. That's one column, one pile, excuse me. So multiply that by five because we said there's five pilings in case one for our total surface area, surface area subscript T for total. And we multiply 52.359 times 5. That gets us the answer of 261.795 feet squared. Do the same analysis over here for case 2. Draw our panel. Again, it's 10 feet. That doesn't change. What 
does change is we have three columns now versus five. Three columns, each with a diameter now of 25 inches to a depth of 20 feet. That's the same. The same calculation. So surface area equals 2 pi r times depth. 2 pi. So again, 25 inches, half of 25 is 12.5 inches because we want the radius divided by 12 inches per foot. Keep our units consistent in feet times 20 foot depth. Answer for surface area for one column in case two. It's giving me 130.900 feet squared. And we're going to multiply this by three to get the total surface area. So SA subscript T equals. So we take our 130.9 times three and we get 392.7 feet squared. So we're then going to compare the case one surface area total value to the case two surface area total value. And we see that the case two surface area total value is greater than the case one surface area total value. So we said earlier that the larger the surface area provides greater protection. The question statement asks for which arrangement provides the best corrosion protection. So case two provides the best corrosion protection because it has a larger surface area, 392.7 feet squared. So we look at our answer choices and we see that answer choice B reflects that scenario where we have three piles, each with a 25 inch diameter. So the answer is B and we have finished this problem. I highly encourage you, if you haven't already, to sign up for one of our online PE breath or depth exam review classes at civilengineeringacademy.com and we'll see you next time.